I honestly think Destiny Hero Plasma has some degree of competitive potential. It has the continuous effect, negate the effects of face-up monsters while your opponent controls them. This makes the card a pretty good disruption tool, which can prevent your opponent from developing a board when you happen to go first. Or could be used to soften up your opponent's board when going second. The ignition effect also comes in handy. Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Equip that target to this card. Maximum, one. Since the first effect turns off your opponent's monster effects, you can steal most monsters which do not tribute themselves to activate an effect, helping to remove a keystone monster from their board. Then the remainder of the rules text on the card is the continuous effect that Plasma gains, attack equal to half the original attack of the monster equipped to it by this effect. So what's the problem? Well, the summoning condition is a little rough to be honest. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Oof must first be special summoned from your hand by tributing three monsters. Not the worst requirement, and actually pretty fitting for a boss monster, but it's a definite hurdle to overcome. I think one way to start the ball rolling is to play a Hero Lives, specifically to get Elemental Hero Stratos, which searches out another hero monster, Plasma being the obvious target. Shadow Mist could also be used, and could even search for Plasma when it goes to Graveyard, but that is a less direct route. I considered talking about hero monsters as an engine, in an engine to consider segment, but there was just so many different directions to take them. So this video is going to be limited to just speculating on the viability of Plasma, and pointing out some of its support. The card has dual utility as a stun tool and soft board breaker, so at the very least, I believe the card deserves at least a little recognition. Side note. There is another decent option for searching Plasma, with the continuous spell D-Force, since that would not require you to summon a monster. It comes with the additional benefit of protecting your board from targeting effects, Plasma from destruction, and powering up Plasma, including giving it a second attack. The drawback is that you will skip your draw phase, which is pretty detrimental. Hypothetically, you could activate the spell, then pop it with a monster like Scrap Dragon or Astraltopia for some advantage but that might be reaching. Now, back to the main discussion. I do feel like Plasma is decently searchable, but it has the potential to end up dead in hand. To mitigate this risk, you could run Trade-In, since Plasma is level 8, adding a little bit of card draw to your deck. But there is actually a better option in Archetype. Destiny Draw is unlimited, so running a minor Destiny engine for card draw and board presence, with admittedly only two malicious at the moment, might also work. I'm not sure how many D heroes are necessary for that perfect critical mass, nor which ones to run. I think there is a pretty strong argument for running level 4 or lower D heroes specifically, so that you can special summon them directly from deck with Over Destiny while Plasma or even Dogma is in Grave. Note that the card Over Destiny does not remove Plasma from Grave, so you can still recover it with the Warrior Returning Alive or even with Destiny Hero Decider. I have a sweet spot in my heart for Diamond Dude, but other options are Denier, which can be used for board presence or to slowly tutor slash recover a D hero. Then Drill Dark is another option for board presence, since it can bring a friend from hand. Do note that Plasma does not require your normal summon, instead it special summons itself from hand by tributing three monsters. There is also Celestial, which can be used for more card draw, but only in the mid to late game. Then finally, Destiny Hero Doom Lord is sort of like Farfa of the Burning Abyss, and can also be used as a soft board breaking tool. Although that forfeits the battle phase. I can see a D hero engine slash toolbox coming together, but maybe it's just me. I really think Plasma has so much going for it that it could see some degree of success, but I'm not sure if the card ever rises above the level of a gimmick. Either way, I know I'm going to keep having fun deck building and being a destiny hero dreamer.